What's good everybody? Thank you for joining me once again today here on the ML Family Channel. Love to have you. Thank you for being here. For those of you that are new, please go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications on so that you're notified every time I post a video. And once again, my name is Mary. If you'd like to stay a permanent part of the ML family or would like to join the part of the ML family, please go ahead and remember, like, subscribe, post notifications, drop a comment below, and in the description box I'm going to leave my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok so you can come on and join me over there. So what I'm going to be discussing in this video today is a little bit away from what I normally do, normal content, so what I'm going to be talking about is the stimulus and the government. Um, a lot of people have been asking questions about what's going on, if I know anything, can I share, will I do a video on it, so here I am. So wait for it, let's get into it. So thank you guys once again for being here, make sure you give me a big fat thumbs up, hit that like button. What topics that I'm going to be discussing in this video is going to be the stimulus checks, unemployment, rent, PPP, the airlines, and also Mark Cuban, Mr. Shark Tank himself, got a lot of good stuff, a lot of good news, the new stimulus bill that's coming out, and I'm also going to be talking about the coronavirus itself, what's got us all in this pandemic anyway. So, are you ready for it? Let's get into it. So, now we're getting into it. We're going to start off with the coronavirus cases and the coronavirus itself, which has caused the pandemic. So, here we go. I have done the research on it and the confirmed cases in the United States as of right now is 7,027,348, okay? That's 7,027,348 cases confirmed in the U.S. alone. Opposed from today to yesterday. Confirmed cases today, I don't know if they're adding them, um, adding more to what was yesterday or what it is, but I'm just going to read off the numbers. Yesterday, confirmed cases, 44,646, opposed to today being 48,497. So if it wasn't 44,646 yesterday and 48,000 497 by itself today that means that it would have added at least about 2,000 3,000 more cases 4,000 more cases okay the confirmed deaths are totaled at 203,549 alone yesterday confirmed deaths from the coronavirus yesterday 909 this has got way out of hand one death was too many from this the second death made it an extra over the top too many now we are in a position where it's just far too many lives lost due to the response of the coronavirus now today alone 731 deaths confirmed today. Ridiculous. Shouldn't even be happening. The mandates for the mask wearing are not being taken seriously. The mandates for people to social distance not being taken seriously. Mandates to stay home not being taken seriously. It's ridiculous. People act as if this is fake. It's not fake. It's real. The numbers don't lie. Numbers do not lie. When you got a number that is over the number one, and that is death alone, it's ridiculous. I can't even say, oh, one, I understand. No. It should have never happened. Had the precautions and the warnings been heeded when this first started, Instead of somebody trying to downplay it, and you know who I'm talking about. Instead of somebody downplaying it, and would have took it seriously, we wouldn't be where we are today. Now, onto the stimulus. 
with that being said, first, let me say, first and foremost, I am so sorry for anybody who has contracted the coronavirus, anybody who has lost family or friends, loved ones to the coronavirus, I am so sorry from the bottom of my heart. Because your family should not be having to go through this. Because somebody took the initiative to want to downplay something so deadly when they knew the stark and grave warning behind it. Moving on. Stimulus checks. For those of you who, for the first round, didn't get, get yours yet, hold off. It's coming. Just wait. Be patient. It is coming. For those of you that got upset because you didn't get it, but later on did receive it, I was in the same boat, went through the same thing, spoke about it on the last video of stimulus. It sucks. Yes, it does. Very much. The government is not moving fast enough for us. Which is ridiculous. Because it should have been done and took it care of back in May. It's This is what we're going through is not okay. So, on to the second stimulus. A bill was proposed, brought out, voted on, passed in the House in May. Republicans say, well, let's just play a wait and see. Wait and see what how many more lives we could lose. How many more people can be evicted? How many more people can go broke? How many more people are going to be without food? How many more people are not going to be able to get the testing that they need to find out if they have it or not? I will say, I went and got a test. Took a while, but I went and got a test. And I came back negative. Thank God. Now, President Steve Mnuchin, Jerome Powell, Nancy Pelosi, all of them say we need a second stimulus. Should have been done. But here we go, heading into October. Hopefully they will get a bill done, get it passed, get it voted on, all that good stuff, then to the president, let it be signed. People say, well, I heard it's already been passed. No, 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 no. There has not been a bill passed yet. Oh, well, it's been passed and shouldn't we already received it? No. Three stages. Got to go through the House first, then the Senate, then the President. Then it'll be deposited. If the bill is agreed upon and the President gets it to his desk and it gets signed. So, now, the Democrats have come out with another bill. Which, they're well, they're coming out with another bill that is going to be revealed next week. For another $2.4 trillion. And what is in the bill is a second round of much-needed direct stimulus payments to eligible Americans. My thoughts? Hurry up and get it done. And the word eligible shouldn't even be in there. Everybody should get one. But that's just my opinion. Enhanced unemployment benefits is included in this next bill that the Democrats is working on. A new round of PPP, the Paycheck Protection Program Loan Funding for Small Businesses. <clears throat> Both the Republicans and the Democrats agree on two of the three. Now, this comes from an article. They agree on two of the three points. Enhanced unemployment is the, the big sticking point, however. The Democrats want 600 weekly. The Republicans want an incentive to get people back to work. Okay. You want to get them back to work? Send the stimulus. So that they can be able to go pay their car note. And for those of the, for those of who have lost their vehicles, give them the stimulus so they can go get their cars back. Easy. Not that hard. It only takes three days from what I've heard. Now. I have wrote some notes down to make sure that I talk about this correctly. Stimulus check. $1,200 per adult, $2,400 married couple, $1,200 single, $500 per dependent, adult or child. The unemployment expired July 31st. 
need it now. People need their need their unemployment now. PPP loans. The applications for people to go and file an application, it is expired, it is ended. Need a new round of that, let's go. What you waiting on? Airlines. They have a deadline of October 1st for their furloughed workers. You either hire or you fire. That's the two options they have. They have to pick one by October 1st. Will this help us get our stimulus check quicker? Never know. The clock's winding down before Congress, the House and the Senate decide that they're going to leave on another recess before the ele- up until after the election, I'm assuming. The stock market has crashed. Experts are saying that they are worried because we're already in a recession, but have a second double dip of, a, of the recession, and it'd be worse since the Great Depression. Even worse than that, the way experts are talking. Then you got the House and the Senate need to step it up because you got all of these people needing things, such as myself and other Americans, needing food, clothing, rent paid, bills paid, car notes paid, unemployment, all these things that have expired, been expired. We are two months past the, the time frame of when everything expired. I don't know why they set it for July 31st. I don't know why they thought that we would be recovering just like that. Hasn't happened. Even others are stating that if the economy doesn't get more stimulus to be able to rebound, the economy is going to implode. I mean, there's too many suffering. This has got to stop. It's got to stop. Now, on to brrr, special guest, Mark Cuban. He has come up on his own with a bill. The goal to get the money into the economy quick would be an ideal straight from the shark's mouth. Mark Cuban. The bill that he has come up with, and I quote, this is him, put out a bill calling for a thousand bi-weekly for two months for those who are struggling badly, those who need it the most and those who need help let's get them help now he says this incentive could help with all of the economy being back up on its feet now with his phrase this one string attached And his phrase is, use it or lose it. And I quote Mark Cuban. The approach calls for Americans to spend the funds in 10 days or lose the money. This will help boost the economy and get it back up on its feet. Okay, you got the Problem Solvers Caucus. 25 Democrat, 25 Republican. All agree. More stimulus is needed. Let's get it out there. Let's get it done. Let's get it taken care of. I don't know why we're waiting. I don't know why we're being forced to sit back and wait and take it all in as if all this is okay. It's not okay. People are losing their lives every day. Either from not being able to get tested or not being able to get the medical treatment after they've been tested. It's not that hard. For a political game... This is not going to get you to keep your seat. You will be voted out. We need the help. Now, as Americans, you should know better than anybody being government officials of the United States. You should know. We need it now. Now, Nancy Pelosi and Secretary Steven Mnuchin, however, are getting back together. Going to hit the table again and see if we can get this done. My thoughts on it is just get it done. Get it done. Let it be done and over with. Get it done so that people can get back out there, get the things that they need for their families and for themselves. Secretary Steven Mnuchin, right along with 
Chairman Jerome Powell both testified, both agree, more fiscal stimulus is needed in order for the economy to stay on a path to recovery. Everyone keeps saying we're in a V-shaped recovery. Where's a V-shaped recovery? There's not very many jobs out there. Like me, if I wasn't disabled right now, I guarantee I could not go out there and get a job. Nobody's hiring. Why? Because of the coronavirus, because of the pandemic. So people such as myself, we need help. Like now, it's, it's time. The government officials passed a bill that would keep the economy from shutting down. They did a government spending bill. So you got, what, seven, six days left to do a stimulus package before you guys decide to go on vacation again and leave all of us Americans stranded? It's ridiculous. We, we need help now. We need help. I'm calling on all government officials, please, get together, get the bill, get it done, get it voted on, get it sent to the president, let him sign it. If you're incapable of doing that, then I call on the president and I ask you, executive order, more stimulus, executive order, more unemployment, executive order, more rent help. We need the help. We can't go at it alone. Now, before I go, I ask that you please give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe if you are new. Turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified and updated on all of my posts. Drop a comment below and let me, let me know what you think about what's going on with the stimulus in the government right now. Also, again, in the description, I will drop my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, so you can join me over there. And if you see this video on any other social media site, make sure that you comment directly on this video. Hit the thumbs up directly on this video. God bless. Stay safe. Thank you. I love y'all. Till the next one.